Hi everybody, this is your tarot reading for Monday the 1st of August. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to use the Radiant Rider Waite deck for today's reading. I'm just going to shuffle my cards here. Okay, so it's the first day of the new month. And this is what we're starting with. Okay, so the first card is the tower. And the tower you can see um, this structure, this building, really being struck by lightning, being blown up, and things going tumbling. So, it's a very dramatic change to the month we've just had. July is now over. We're looking at starting from scratch, building something new, um, and really undoing what has been there so far. The next card is the Five of Wands in reverse. And when the card is this way around, it represents conflict. Particularly what I'm getting today is creative conflict and really not being 100% clear on which direction to take. That is in reverse, so the conflict falls away and the direction becomes much clearer and certain passions take the forefront and it's very structured What is what I guess. I think there's a very kind of natural sense of order and structure that falls into place and it's like first I'm going to build this, then I'm going to build this, then I'm doing this and this and this and it just falls into place very nicely and easily and naturally. The final card is the Three of Wands, and the Three of Wands, when you look at it this way, it's about looking to the future, looking at expanding, looking at new beginnings outside of yourself, further away from yourself, and listening to your passion and your natural desire to move forward and to expand and grow. It's in reverse, and what I think happens is that the passion and the natural growth happens where you are and rather than going externally and away from yourself it's internal growth so you turn inwards these new beginnings are based on what you care about what you discover within yourself and really becoming very focused on what are my passions what are my desires and what do I want to implement and really becoming a little bit more insular in terms of these are my desires and these are the outside worlds uh, wants and needs and this is what I'm interested in and it's very clear and it's very grown up in its scope because it really is unapologetic and very um, cerebral in saying this is what I want and these are the facts of my life and this is what I'm going to now build so you really start the month of August with a great sense of purpose and drive and passion and it seems quite tough you seem quite tough in terms of your conviction and in terms of this is what I believe in and this is what I'm actually interested in building I'm not interested in building someone's cottage or the Eiffel Tower I'm interested in building my new tower which is going to replace the old structures in my life which I have now outgrown and which have now ceased to exist and it's really coming into your own power your own strength and building the structures and foundations in your life that you can rely on later on. So wow, that's really positive. It really indicates a great deal of strength, a great deal of personal vision and the drive that goes along with the vision to actually implement what you're thinking of doing. So expect to be very practical, to put in the legwork and to actually watch yourself do what you set out to do. So there's no procrastination here. There's thought, action combining perfectly to, to result in something actually happening in your life. So number wise, let's look at this. We've got, uh, what is this? 10, 15, 16, and five is 21, and three is 24, two and four is six. And six represents a temporary opportunity that opens up. So this is the beginning of August. Something appears for the beginning of August that just opens for the day or maybe two days or three days. And you're really there taking, making the most out of that opportunity and taking action at the beginning of the month. So everyone watching this reading here for the 1st of August, you guys are ahead of the game. You're really making use of the energy, hitting the ground running and really going into the month as powerfully and as opportunistically as you possibly can so you can get the best out of the month, which is great. So I hope you have a wonderful 
wonderful start to August. I hope you make the most of the opportunities that present themselves to you on this day. If you'd like a private reading about what you're looking to achieve in August, you know, what are you trying to build? What is it that you're trying to create? And you need some guidance, whether that's in love or career or money or family, and you want some support, then please get in touch with me for a private reading. Go to gregoryscott.com, just click on the readings tab and you can order your reading with me there. Please remember to subscribe to this channel so that you're notified when new videos come out. And I also do live readings on Facebook. I do live tarot readings. So if you're interested in that, like the page. Have a wonderful start to the month and I'll speak to you tomorrow.